in the in the above diagram, y is equal to 2x. Find the size of the following angles. We need to determine the size of angle x. Notice that we have angle x right here, and our goal is to determine what is the size of angle x. In order to do this, we will use this, we will use this chart. And the chart tells us that alternate angles are angles that occur on opposite sides of the transversal line and are the same size. We can often spot interior alternate angles by drawing a Z shape. And so what this is telling us is that we can identify alternate angles by a Z shape. And so here we have a Z shape and this angle and this angle are equal. In fact, they are alternate angles. And so we have the Z shape as well, and we have the Z shape as well, okay? And so if we, if we want to spot alternate angles, we just have to use a Z shape. And so if we look, if we look at what we have here, right, we have, we have the Z shape, right? So this right here, and then this, right? And then, and then this, right? So what can we say about this angle that measures 52 degrees and this angle X? Well, we have the Z shape. And indeed, these two angles are alternate angles. And what do we know about alternate angles? Alternate angles are the same size, right? So if this is 52 degrees, that means that X is also 52 degrees. So that means that the size of angle X is 52 degrees. Next, we have to determine the size of angle Y. What do we know about angle Y? Well, Y is equal to 2X. And so since X is equal to 52 degrees, we substitute that into this right here, and we have that X, and we have that Y is equal to 2X, and X is 52, so it's going to be equal to 2 times 52. So Y is equal to 2 times 52, and 2 times 52 is 104 degrees. So that means that angle Y is 104 degrees. Next, we need to determine the size of angle Z. All right, we need to determine the size of angle Z. And in order to do that, what we're going to do, we're going to note that angles inside of a quadrilateral add up to 360 degrees. And so here we have this quadrilateral. A quadrilateral is a shape that has four sides. All right. What do we know already? Well, we know, we know that, we know that this is 52, this is 118, and Y is what? 104 degrees, all right? The only thing that we need to figure out is what is the size of angle Z. Now, what do we know? Well, again, this is a quadrilateral because it has four sides, and that means that the interior angles of this quadrilateral add up to 360 degrees. And so 104 plus 52 plus 118 plus Z add up to 360 degrees. So in order for us to figure out the size of angle Z, we're going to add 104, 52, and 118. And we're going to take that sum and subtract it from 360 degrees. And so we have 360 minus the sum of 52, 118, and 104. Now that's going to be 360 minus 274. So we have 360 minus 247. We have 360 minus 274, and when we subtract, we get 86. And so that means that the size of angle Z is going to be 86 degrees. And that's our answer to this question.